The Galaxy Watch 6, Samsung's newest mainstream wearable, has finally been made public, and it has a number of intriguing features with it. Like clockwork, Samsung's smartwatches have undergone their yearly update, which includes the introduction of the highly anticipated Galaxy Watch 6 and the rather unexpected Galaxy Watch 6 Classic, which revitalizes the Classic line and replaces the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro from the previous year. If you're the proud owner of a Galaxy Watch 5, you might be wondering if the Watch 6 offers enough to justify an upgrade. Well, we'll have a comprehensive review of the wearable soon, we do know what sets these two devices apart on paper. Continue watching to learn about the four key improvements made to the Galaxy Watch 6 over its predecessor. Unfortunately, the Galaxy Watch 5's display was constrained by some very substantial bezels all the way around its surface, despite how bright it was. Due to a significant redesign of the display, the Galaxy Watch 6 does not suffer from this issue this time around. The Galaxy Watch 6's screen is 20% bigger than its predecessor, but it also has 30% smaller bezels. As the Watch 6 is still available in 40 and 44mm sizes, Samsung was able to increase the display size, while mostly maintaining the watch's overall size. The Galaxy Watch 5 had a reasonable battery life compared to other smartwatches like the Apple Watch, in ideal conditions, you could easily get two days worth of use. This battery life pales in contrast to wearables from Garmin and even the most recent Tick Watch Pro 5, something that Samsung appears to be aware of. The Galaxy Watch 6 now has a bigger battery to compete with the competition, 300mAh and 425mAh on the 40mm and 44mm models, respectively. Well we won't know for sure until testing how much of a benefit those larger cells prove to be until the larger displays are tested, these statistics surpass the Galaxy Watch 5, 284 and 410 milliamp hour, in both situations. At the absolute least, they should assist to offset the higher drain brought on by the larger displays. During my time with the Galaxy Watch 5, I never had the impression that the Exynos W920 chipset wasn't up to the challenge, because it delivered outstanding performance in daily use. However, Samsung seems to disagree as it made care to include an improved processor in the Galaxy Watch 6. The Galaxy Watch 6 should feature a faster processing speed of 1.4 GHz versus 1.18 GHz on the Watch 5, now that it is equipped with the Exynos W930. This should at the very least be able to showcase Wear OS 4, which will be accessible on the Galaxy Watch 6 right away, in its best possible light. These improvements over the model from the previous year do have a price, as you would have guessed. The entry-level Galaxy Watch 6 costs £289, which is £20 more than the Galaxy Watch 5's starting price of £269. In terms of price increases, it's not a particularly significant one given the present economic climate, but be sure to check back soon for our comprehensive review of the Samsung Galaxy Watch 6 to find out whether the higher cost is justified. In the end, the Galaxy Watch 6 and Galaxy Watch 5 don't differ significantly from one another. Even though purchasing the older model might be a better decision. It is now significantly less expensive than it was at launch and, more importantly, is less expensive than the brand new Galaxy Watch 6. The Watch 6 features a bigger screen and a somewhat smaller appearance, but these are really the only significant changes. Performance and features don't significantly improve. It's a watch that should serve you well if you really want that bigger screen, though, and is probably going to be one of the most popular Wear OS devices for the upcoming year. You can also watch our video comparison about Samsung Galaxy Watch 6 vs Apple Watch Series 8 in the description under this video, thanks for watching, have a nice day and see you soon.